Well, now that Osama bin Laden is dead, American, America's attention is turning now to those who might replace him. And it's emerged that already an attempt has been made to try and kill one possible candidate, the American-born cleric Anwar al-Awlaki, said to be the leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Reports in the US suggest that he was the main target of a drone attack in Yemen on Thursday, an attack that killed two of his supporters. Well, let's talk to Nabila Ramdani, who's an expert on the region. She's with me in the studio now. Uh, is this drone attack about striking while the iron's hot? Oh, very much so. I think with uh, bin Laden uh, being eliminated now, it seems that uh, um, the Americans are now after Anwar al-Awlaki. As you said, he's, um, he's uh, basically um, the leader of one of the most uh, active franchises of uh, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. He's certainly a rising star uh, in the al-Qaeda organization. He's very charismatic. He's internet savvy. And he has, um, he's an individual with, with a knack for making uh, firebrand anti-Western sermons uh, using Facebook and YouTube, for example, to exert Muslims around the world to, um, uh, to kill Americans. So in that sense, he's a complete modern terrorist. Do you think it's fair to say that America sees him as their biggest al-Qaeda threat at the moment? Uh, very much so. Uh, uh, Yemen is very much a, a volatile country and it's uh, in that respect it's a fertile ground for all the hotheads, uh, radicals who uh, are, have shown so far um, uh, distasteful shows of, of uh, sadness when uh, bin Laden was killed. And so there are very strong reasons to believe that the, uh, Yemen will very much be the country to watch. Is it just coincidence, though, that this drone attack was carried out just uh, five days after the raid on Osama bin Laden's house? I mean, is it possible that some intelligence from that raid was used in this drone attack, or did it just happen at the same time? Well, I think it was very clear from uh, uh, the information uh, people had about al-Qaeda that Yemen was very much the place uh, to watch. But I think the Americans wanted to make sure to uh, eliminate all mid-level people uh, and to uh, make sure that uh, indeed they, um, uh, they, they, they did not only they got rid of uh, the leader of al-Qaeda, but they want to make sure, they want to send a message that uh, the fight uh, against al-Qaeda doesn't stop with the end of their leader, basically. Will the al-Qaeda leadership pass to al-Laki, or is it more likely to pass to his deputy Ayman al-Zawahiri? Well, clearly Ayman al-Zawahiri is the operational commander of, uh, of al-Qaeda, but as I said, uh, al-Awlaqi is very modern in the techniques he uses. He's more, um, his branch uh, in the Arabian Peninsula is more autonomous, it's very well organised, and it's internationally engaged, uh, and more so than the old core of uh, al-Qaeda in Pakistan, for example. Nabila, thank you. That was uh, Nabila Ramdani.